Hello, it's Scott here from Digital Puppets with another tutorial video for all of you Adobe Cater animators out there. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make customized thumbnails for your trigger buttons. Um, of course, as you know, looking at the screen here, often when you um, make a button, you'll get a frame from your animation, so a mouth, an eye, whatever you're doing. Well, if you want to create something like this where you can see exactly what the character is doing or perhaps you want some text saying what your character is doing i'm going to show you how to do that also it's handy because when you create a replay you end up with a blank button so you'll see here on the left hand side of the screen i've got some hand triggers which i've made with replays in fact if i just up to the right hand side of the screen i'm going to press play you can see i've got a little hand trigger there and if I drag that to my timeline, which I've done previously, you end up with a blank box. And if you make lots of replays, you're going to end up with lots of blank boxes and you're going to forget what each of them do and it's going to get really confusing really quickly. So I'm going to show you how you can make your own thumbnails and drag them in and customize them however you want. Now to get started, we're going to hop on over to Adobe Photoshop. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a new box and we're going to make it, let's say, 300 pics by 300 pics. Now you've got a choice here. You could either just create some text and call it, I don't know, uh, right hand wave. And then you're going to save it. Save it as a um, JPEG. Or, if you want something more visual, what you can do is activate that. So activate your trigger, expression, whatever you want your character to be doing and what you want your button thumbnail to represent. And then press screen share. So screen grab. Press that. Go back to Photoshop. Let's just turn that one off. Edit, paste. And we've got him oh, waving, so I'm going to save that one. Um, right hand wave pick. Then what we're going to do is click on your puppet's avatar icon and press the PS icon to open it up in Photoshop. And then you'll see for this particular puppet, I've already got a bunch of icons made as you saw earlier, but what I'm gonna do now is, oh, what I'm gonna do now is import the ones I've just made Place that one. And then I'm going to go down, place embedded. And I'm going to get that one. As and I'm going to drag them both into the icons folder. And you'll see this icon folder isn't inside the main puppet folder. That's important. And also make sure it's, the visibility is switched up. Right, then you're going to press save, so that it updates to your puppet in Adobe Character Animator. And then we're going to go back to Character Animator. And once your puppet's updated, we're going to go into Rig Mode. When you're in Rig Mode, let's just close the puppet file for a moment, and then you can see your icons folder below. I'm going to open it up, and you can see the two new icons that we've created. Then, uh, make sure you've got your control panel up. So, I've got mine on a second monitor at the moment. So, let me just drag that to there. And let's find the replay icon button. And then what I'm going to do, all you do then, is literally drag that onto there. And that's the text-based thumbnail I made. Or, we can use the image thumbnail that I made. 
and when you go back into record mode you will see that your blank button now has a thumbnail and it is as simple as that if there is anything that you felt I didn't explain properly just leave a comment below and if you have any suggestion for what you'd like our next tutorial be again leave a comment below and that's all for me today thank you very much I'll see you soon bye